Crop insurance continues to be targeted for budget cuts, even though it's been a cost-effective program for farmers and taxpayers. In fact, the president proposed $1 billion in cuts in 2016 and $16 billion over a decade. But why is this farm program under fire? Their premiums are subsidized, and I think that's where elected officials are taking a look at. Yet unlike direct payments in past farm bills, with crop insurance, farmers have skin in the game. Farmers pay a premium like most folks when they pay their auto insurance, their home insurance, so they pay into it. And it's an important risk management tool for disasters like drought. If we didn't have crop insurance in, say, in 2012, there would be farmers and ranchers that would be out of business. Which would leave consumers with no food security. And what that translates to, to citizens is that they're probably corn prices would be a lot higher, soybean prices would be higher, your food at the grocery store would be a lot higher. I'm a Sherwick reporting. This Heartland Consumer Report is sponsored by Minnesota Soybean Farmers and their Soybean Checkoff.